when you're ready, just release that ball down to the side. Nice, just bring both hands down to the floor. We're gonna rock forwards. So you're gonna find your tabletop position. As you find your tabletop position, I'm just gonna take a few cat cows there so we can really find that grounding of the body. So rounding through the spine, draw the shoulder blades up to the sky. And then drop the belly button down. Take a lovely big breath, gaze high to the ceiling. Good, really plant through the hands, find that grounding. And then drop the belly button down. Take a lovely big breath, gazing high. Nice, one more rounding through the spine. Draw the belly button up to the sky. And get to the end of that exhale. Gorgeous, guys. Come back to that neutral spine. We're going to make our way there onto our side of our body. So we're going to start to do the lats and the serratus anterior. So you won't need the balls for this one. You'll just need your block or your book. So you're going to bring the block onto the second setting. You're going to slowly start to bring that block just kind of underneath your arm here. So right onto the knife edge. So you just want to wiggle so it's coming right underneath your lats. And you should be able to bring your right elbow down to the floor and just kind of make a fist there with your hand. You might find that this is enough for you here, just staying here, or you might be able to rock just ever so slightly forwards and backwards on the block. Good, nice. So feel free if you need to, to move and adjust the block. You might find that sweet spot as you rock back. You might need to adjust the feet as well. Lovely. And just rolling forwards and backwards here. You might want to close the eyes. We might keep the eyes open. Good. So this one gets nice and deep there into those lats, really releasing, especially if you do a lot of heavy lifting or if you're holding heavy bags onto your shoulders. 